What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing a grand challenge trying to go all the way from 0 to 12 wins using a brand new Hog Mortar deck that has kind of been pretty popular the last couple days. There's been a couple people to push to number one in the world with this deck on ladder, and the defense is absolutely insane because it has the Mighty Miner in it. In my opinion, Mighty Miner might be the best champion in the game right now. It's a tough call between Mighty Miner and the Archer Queen, and then you got the Delivery too, which is also going to be very valuable on defense, and then Musk is your only air counter, but she is more than enough because when you have the Mighty Miner down, you get that three card cycle, so you're able to cycle back to another Musketeer really, really quickly, and then of course the EQ is going to pair really nicely with the Hog, allowing you to break through buildings and get to the tower. So before you hit the first match, if you guys would like to support me, you use my creator code BOSS in any Supercell game. Thank you as always, those of you who do that, but yeah, with that being said, let's get the first match here and see if we can get the 12 wins. So we found our first game here, and I will say if you guys, because um, you guys always like to know a um, substitution if you don't have a, you know, uh, champion. So if you don't have the Mighty Miner, you probably want to run, I'd say Valkyrie instead. That would be a good replacement. But um, I think in, you know, Grand Challenges, you're, of course, better off using Mighty Miner. And even if you don't have them unlocked, you're still able to play him because you're able to yeah, have access to every card. So this is a really, really easy matchup because we have Delivery and Log and he's running Log Bait. So this deck will counter pretty much every single Log Bait deck in the game. It's even, it probably even does better against the Log Bait Cannon variation because the Earthquake is amazing against the Cannon. So this should be I would say a nice and easy first game. I think regardless of how good the log bait player is, it never should be, you know, that difficult. And of course, this is just game one in the challenge as well. So it's probably going to be even easier um, than it already was going to be. So we've already taken, you know, like two thirds of his tower. And yeah, things are looking like they're going to be pretty much smooth sailing this match. And what's really nice about having the Mortar is you kind of have a secondary win condition, right? So if they have a hard counter to the Hog Rider, right? Like, let's say a Tornado, you can still get a lot of damage with the Mortar and not just always, you know, use it on defense. Depending on the matchup, you can lots of times use it on offense and get a ton of value. So we're sending in the Hog Rider here. We're going to use the uh, Mighty Miner ability to take out some of those Goblins. Maybe not, like, the most valuable ability. He actually outcycled our Log. That was well played on his part. He's going to get some damage, but it's not going to be that much, so I don't really... You know, care too much. Um, pretty much at this point, we can just be, you know, kind of passive since we already have such a big damage lead. And he actually let that musk lock on for a shot, so that was nice. We're gonna go ahead and log the princess. I guess we can just go for a delivery on top of his next barrel that he plays. It's really nice that we have two really solid answers to that barrel. It's gonna help us out a lot. So that hog will get a shot. We can just go for an earthquake here. And, uh, okay, yeah, go for delivery on top of the barrel. Okay, very nice. Um, I was thinking about going offensive mortar, but maybe just defensive mortar is better. It'll be pretty good against the, I think, the Inferno and the Princess. So I'm just going to go Musk. We go Earthquake. We'll just log this. And, yeah, pretty much GG, no matter what. We'll just send in the Hog Rider here. And... I guess just delivery this, and yeah, it's going to be GG. We are going to be able to win this one super, super easily. As I said, we have a pretty fat counter, so if you don't like log bait, this is a pretty solid deck to run, I would say, because it does super well against it. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much going to beat every variation of log bait, including the Mighty Miner Cannon one. He's spamming the wall played. He said it multiple times, so it's coming off as a... Uh, Salty and he doesn't genuinely mean it, but I don't know for sure want to know Let's keep it going Okay, so we're against a sure win here So we got hog in our starting hand. We could start with hog. I think it's a pretty safe You know starting play worst case scenario. They have like a perfect Okay, I don't know if we're gonna be able to activate the king tower But you actually can if you time it right with the skellies as you saw I tried to it's ve it's a very difficult timing but it can, the mortar shell can actually splash and you can end up activating the uh, king tower. I don't know if you guys have seen that interaction, but like I said, it is quite challenging to do. So, you know, don't expect to get it, you know, like first try. So I was thinking of, I, I realized we can just activate the king tower here. So now I don't even have to worry about doing that fancy king activation off of the mortar. 
So he's going to go for a Mortar. I'm going to actually go for a Hog Rider here. What that's going to do is it's going to distract the Mortar while also applying pressure in the opposite lane. Unfortunately, he is going to have a Tornado. So this is a matchup where our Mortar is going to come in handy as an offensive card since we do not have, you know, a great way of getting to the tower with the Hog Rider. Unfortunately, that Knight is going to distract the Mortar, so I might try to go for Skeletons to pull it over to the right and retarget it. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, so I kind of messed up there. I know sometimes you can go Skeletons distracted, and then the Mortar or Expo will retarget onto whatever's in front of it, but for some reason it stayed locked on the Knight. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. I think even if it shot the Firecracker, it wouldn't have helped us that much anyway. So I'm just going to cycle an Earthquake on the tower, and then I'm going to go for a Hog Rider, just so that Electro Spirit doesn't get damage. Um, and I actually thought that Mortar was going to be distracted and go for the Hog Rider. That's why I played the Musk Elite. I guess it's okay, but we did take some unnecessary damage that I feel like I could have avoided. But yeah, it's not really the end of the world. I guess it's fine. So I hope he's got Rocket and not Earthquake, because I think if he's got Earthquake... Um, it might be hard to get damage with our Mortar, but I'm gonna... Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go Mighty Miner here. Um, I guess we're gonna Earthquake this. We're sending a Hog, this time making sure we are gonna distract the Mortar so it doesn't shoot the tower. Yeah, we do successfully do that, so that was nice. Log to take out this Firecracker. Sadly, we aren't gonna get damage on his tower, but we do force some Elixir out of him. I'm going to, I guess, go for a defensive mortar this time, and we're going to Earthquake his mortar. Yeah, I feel like if he had an Earthquake, he would have used it by now, but I don't really know for sure. Okay, that was a bad E-Spirit. It just died. Let's just go Mighty Miner in the back, I think. Okay, so we'll just go Mortar again on defense. And once again, just Earthquake it. Yeah, I think he's got a Rocket. I'm pretty certain. I'm gonna hog here. Let's go for a mortar. Okay, tornadoes. Yeah, we're never gonna be able to get that hog to the tower, I don't think. Okay, good musk, and then earthquake will clean this up really nicely. Just log all this. Close game, but I feel like if he messes up a tornado, or if we maintain a lead, we should be okay. Sadly, he's not, though. He's been on point with every single um, tornado, sadly. And he hasn't let a mortar lock on, so this guy definitely knows what he's doing. For someone very early on in a grand challenge, this guy's definitely, you know, decent, I would say. Oh, well, right as I say that, the mortar locks on, so let's go. I don't know if that ability did much, but I figured I would do it anyway. Wait, I thought the Mortar was locked on. I think he retargeted with an Electro Spirit. Oh, and that one Skeleton really caused us to... Wait, we might get a 3 Crown. It's actually quite close. I just realized that. We could actually get a 3 Crown here. If he's not careful. I think we, we got it, though. Um, yeah, the hog's getting damaged. Yeah, that's gonna be GG. Yeah, I, that would've been pretty funny if we got the three crown. <laughs> His king tower is getting pretty low. I've seen clips like that before of um, people using like a hog deck and the opponent kept tornadoing the hog to the king tower. So as a result, they literally got three crowned when the game went into like overtime. Um, sadly that wasn't the case. I mean, a win's a win, but that would have been pretty cool if we ended up getting three crown. Uh, yeah, either way, I'll see you guys when we find the third game. So we're in the next one here against Kim Tuna. So, see if this guy's gonna do anything. If not, um, I guess we can just go for a hog. And yeah, that last game was a perfect example of why it is so nice having the mortar when they have that tornado for the hog every time. So cannon, I didn't go earthquake just because I didn't want to be too aggressive for my very first push of the of the game. Okay, so it is kind of earthquake is going to be good for him, but it's good for me too though. So I guess our earthquake is going to be valuable for both of us. 
because it's good against the mortar, but it is also very good against the cannon. Curious how he defends this here. Okay, we can just go Mighty Minor ability. This will force him to have to spend something else, of course. So let's just go for a Musk, same lane as the Queen. And the Queen is actually almost going to die. Wow. I did not expect that. He even sent in the uh, crying face. Um, well, it's still got value. Maybe I should have logged. I don't know. But I'm going to go for an Earthquake here on the Cannon. Yeah, that was actually really annoying. I didn't realize it was going to kill the Musk. I should have, um, I guess, logged or something or tried to distract it somehow. But I guess it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go... Okay, nice. He missed the, uh, the EQ. He um, expected me to play it lower, so he pre-placed it. And yeah, as a result, we ended up getting a ton of damage. So that was really nice. I'm going to go for a hog, same lane as the Mighty Miner. I was thinking about splitting the push-up, but I figured... Oh! Oh, this man is making mistakes left and right. First the Mist EQ, now the Cannon. All the way on the other side of the map, the Hog Rider has no interest going for that thing when you put it, you know, like miles away. We'll go a musk in the back here. Uh, okay, he's going to go pig, so we'll go delivery log, switching up our defense, not going for a mortar, right? Because he might have gone for prediction EQ, which we don't want to, um, you know, give him that. So yeah, as a result, he went in for the EQ anyway and didn't end up even um, getting any value from it because we didn't drop our mortar. Okay, so the queen is going to kill our musk once again, unfortunately. Wait, that mortar's on the tower because I just realized since the queen was invisible, retargeted to the tower. So that was really nice. Log coming in. He's probably going to cannon if he can. No, he's not going to be able to. So that's going to be GG. Another nice win here. Um, this guy definitely made a couple mistakes, but it's probably not a horrible matchup because of the, just the delivery getting so much value. I'm going to try to get the two crown here. Why not? I don't know. Maybe we won't get it, but let's see. I mean, maybe that's going to be enough time unless he logs it. Yeah, he did log it. Okay. He didn't want to give us the satisfaction of that two crown, I guess understandable he wanted to keep his dignity a little bit makes sense so yeah three you know nine more to go so far so good though the match here against freak so we got skelly's mortar mighty miner he did have some expo cards on his banner so we might be playing against expo right now okay looks like probably not unless it's an expo ghost deck which is highly unlikely if you ask me so, uh, okay, he's going to go Giant Skeleton. We're going to go Musketeer, same lane as the Giant Skeleton. And then what we could actually do is send in the Mighty Miner into the left lane, into the Giant Skeleton. Because, um, oh, rip, he went for Zappy. So our plan kind of got foiled there. Um, I actually, okay, good, it died. If Had I known it was going to die, I would have actually gone Delivery to try to protect the, uh, Eh, this is looking a little scary. He's using that meta deck. The one with mirror. I'm going to go for a hog because his fisherman is out of cycle. He might be able to get back to it, but uh, no, it looks like he won't because he decided to mirror the ghost. Okay, yeah, I don't know if this matchup is um that good. I actually think this is probably a little tricky. Like, it's definitely winnable, but I would say it's hard to defend the um, mirrored pigs. The regular pigs are not that hard if I go, you know, delivery log on them, but when they're mirrored, it's a little tough. Luckily, though, since he doesn't have the... Uh, I'm a little scared about the zappies. To, we need to, like, block this so he can't reset the Mighty Miner. Um, this is really important. Yeah, we are able to do that. That's exactly what I wanted. I know the hog died and we didn't get much damage out of it, but I really was focused on defense there and we needed to block because otherwise he would have, um, what would have happened is the zappies would have reset our mighty miner, which would have been really, really bad. And we did not want that because our defense would have been, um, pretty bad. Oh, wow. Somehow that shot the pigs and didn't go on the tower. At least we do get one hit coming in, but we have to musk, I guess. Otherwise, we're going to take so much damage. Wow, yeah, the mirrored pigs are so good. It's actually crazy. 
Luckily, though, he did just waste a Fisherman, so now we can send in the Hog, and he's likely going to take a ton of damage here. Free Earthquake for us as well, We're getting tower damage and putting the Zappies in log range, which we will log here for sure. We'll just go for a Delivery, we'll go for a Musk, and yeah, this should be pretty easy defense, and he won't be able to mirror the Hogs because he just played a card after them. So really thankful he didn't end up going in for the Mirrored Pigs, because I think that would have been the toughest part about this matchup. Log will take the tower, even with Log doing way less damage now, I know it does at least 45. That I can know for certain without checking the damage that it does. Alright, just like that, we're a third of the way through now. We haven't ran into any problems yet. Likely, though, it will get, you know, a bit, um, you know, more challenging, but, you know, who knows? Maybe we could, um, Go 12-0. That's that's difficult, of course, but we'll see what happens. I mean, eight more to go, right? All right, we're against CMG. Uh, Yu Li. All right, I don't know how to pronounce the second part of his name, but uh, anyway. Yeah, 12-0. I would say I can, of the grand challenges I win, I would say only like 30% of them are 12-0s. Like, definitely when I win a grand challenge, normally I have at least one loss. Probably more likely I got um uh, two. Um, so we're going Skeletons on the Dark Ob here. And this should be a very, very easy matchup because we have Delivery, we have Log, um, and... Oh, I just realized he's not using Bait. It's... it Maybe it is a certain Bait deck, but he, he's got Wall Breakers. I kind of just forgot about that. So it might not be as easy as I thought it was, but I think it should still be pretty good for me because even the Wall Breakers we have Mortar for and our Delivery could be pretty solid against those so i think this is probably a pretty fine matchup but i guess we'll see what the rest of his cards are if he's got like a building or something i don't know i guess i'm just gonna okay i'm gonna go delivery here i think this should be fine just to save my log for the dark goblin because we don't want that thing getting too much value yeah i'll just wait to log there's no need to rush it so this way he might play something into it and we'll get more value i doubt he will but oh he actually did nice that's why i waited i'm gonna go hog to pressure and then we're just gonna go skeletons on top of the Ooh, that one might connect because the log hit the skellies no we're fine i thought one was going to but we were okay so i think this guy might just be running like a troll deck like a super fast cycle deck because it's not really that good i don't think the deck he's running i mean but um yeah, I think it's just a super fast cycle deck. I, I, um, I, I just, I can't think of any meta deck that this is. It's just a bunch of cycle cards. Like 2.0 maybe, minor cycle. It's like the deck people use to try to get, uh, like 20 wins in the 20 win challenge like as a kind of like a troll deck really really good players did that i shouldn't say a lot of people did because not many did it was just really good players of course oh i don't even know how that mortar locked on the tower i didn't expect it to i'm gonna go hog i think it's gonna get tanked for it by the mighty miner oh it didn't it w i thought it was going to but i think it barely didn't move up enough Either way, I think we'll win this one if we play smart. Like, there's no way he'll win this. Like, it's such a good matchup for me, and the deck is awful that he's using. It's like a, just kind of like a challenge deck for fun, as I've said. So, yeah, we'll be okay unless we make some major mistake. I, I, I think even if we made a mistake, we'd still win. I think at this point, we'd have to lose connection. <laughs> like, in all honesty, I feel like losing connection is the only way we'd lose this match at this point. Yeah, especially with that mortar getting a shot there. So I'm just going to go in for... I'm going to even just let the wall breakers connect because it's fine if it does. The hog uh, didn't get a shot though. Now maybe it will? No, probably not. Yeah, I'm not going to ignore wall breakers again because we can't let this game be close. I just realized that. Yeah, it's gonna be GG. I got a little lazy, not gonna lie. I just, like, I, cause I knew we were gonna win for sure, so I started getting kind of sloppy with the defense. I shouldn't have done that, but 
uh, either way, a win's a win. Um, yeah, that deck was... We can confirm. I think that's just a 2.0 minor cycle deck. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, it was. That's what I thought. Yeah, he was decent. You see he's ranked uh, 4,700 in the world, so not bad. He was probably trying to complete a GC with that deck. Best of luck to him. He probably could do it. It might take several tries, but I'm sure he could do it. Because it's easier to complete that in a grand challenge than in the 20 win challenge. Maybe not significantly harder, but definitely a bit harder. Because keep in mind, the 20 win challenge was free to enter. So you might be thinking, how the heck is it only slightly harder than a grand challenge? It's because 20 win challenge, you get like, you got three free attempts. Whereas grand challenge is 100 gems to enter. So typically you only play a grand challenge if you're pretty good. At least that's what most people do anyway. Um... Yeah, Mighty Miner's just going to get the bomb damage on the tower, which is quite a lot. I mean, that's no joke. For one elixir, you're getting all that damage. Okay, unfortunately, because the skeletons were one tile to the left, the Dark Goblin got a hit, but honestly, who cares? Hog Rider coming in. I was maybe going to EQ, but I thought since the Spear Goblins dealt damage to the Hog already, it was pretty unlikely that it was going to reach the... Uh... Okay, so that's going to be... Yeah, nice. That's two hits from the... Oh, only one hit from the mortar? What in the world? Okay, delivery, though. It's gonna be nice on that. Didn't even have to use my Mighty Miner. Yeah, this is looking like this is gonna be a really easy matchup, too. No clue what in the world this guy's using. The deck does not look very good uh, for on his end. I mean, what is even his air counter? Surely he has to have one, right? Because he's only shown Spear Goblins and Dark Gob. Maybe those are his only two. I don't know. They're not like sturdy air counters, right? Because at least the musk dies to... Um, it takes like a poison to die, so it survives a fireball. Um, I'm just gonna, I guess, log this, go skellies for the mighty miner, and then we're just gonna go for a delivery on the barrel. I think the... Oh, I, was, I thought the delivery was late, but it was actually just in time. So yeah, this guy's obviously pretty frustrated with the matchup. Uh, super hard counter for us, of course. So much bait this meta. This is part of the reason why I think this deck kind of emerged out of nowhere. It's, it's to counter all the bait. Like, Mighty Miner bait is legit everywhere. It's busted right now inside of the um, the meta. I just realized the Spear Goblins threw me out, but I just, I, th I just realized this is the meta bait deck. Only difference is that it just has, um, for whatever reason, it has Spear Goblins instead of, um, what, Log maybe? I don't know. I just realized he played it as a juke, but because the delivery takes time to get down, it doesn't even matter, so we're fine. Oh, I feel kind of bad for him. I mean, this deck is just, like, such a good counter to bait. It's actually absurd. And bait, like I said, is everywhere right now. In ladder, grand challenges, it is everywhere. And part of the reason why is the stupid Mighty Miner, man. He needs a nerf. He is so broken. A health nerf would be good of, like... 5 to 8 percent i mean look at the golden knight um somehow a 10 percent health nerf made him he was the best champion right no question golden knight was the best champion and then after the 10 percent health nerf he went all the way to being either the worst one or the second worst one i don't even know how that happened and we thought the 10 percent health nerf wasn't going to be nearly enough but now somehow the mighty miner is the best champion in the game it's weird it's weird no one would have expected it. Uh, anyway, we're, we're halfway through the challenge now. So far, it's been a breeze. Uh, of course, it'll probably get more difficult as we especially get to like eight or nine wins. Then pretty much at that point, everyone's like kind of decent who you play against. Not to say like you won't get someone decent earlier on, but it's way more common the higher wins you're at. So I didn't really want to cycle Delivery, Mighty Miner, or Musk first play but Mortar is okay cycling first play, but I think it's good to wait at least a few seconds because you don't want to cycle your Mortar and then they just go Hog, like, and then you don't have anything in defense for it, for example. So you do have to be careful about that. But if they're waiting a while, then chances are they probably are not running, like, a cycle deck, so you don't have to be too worried about, you know, messing up your cycle or whatever. I guess that's gonna get hit by the bomb. Nothing I can really do about it. I will I will go for a hog here because his fisherman he just used. And yeah, look at that. He just spent um wait, eight elixir? Is that what wow, that's actually a lot. Yeah, he so he just spent eight elixir just to counter the 
hog. So yeah, definitely worth it, I would say, to do that. Just gonna go Mighty Miner here. Obviously, we couldn't use our Skeletons to counter it because the Mother Witch would have just turned it into pigs, which would have been... Okay, yeah, so unfortunately, he is gonna mirror that. Maybe we can get the ability off to... Yeah, nice. Damage the Zappies. That was probably worth it, I would say. Um... This is gonna be annoying. We're gonna deliver this, I guess. And the good news is that... The Zappies are out of cycle, so I'm hoping we can go in for a big time push here. Yeah, nice. He just used his Fisherman. If that... Oh, if that Fisherman dies, I think we might win right here. Oh, no, it didn't. So close. Um, wait. Oh, we still took the tower. Wow, I underestimated that push. I, I was thinking, like, if the fisherman died there, we would have taken his tower, but we, we took it anyway, even though... The, that's crazy. So we have to deliver... Um, okay, that... Mm, we're fine. We take a lot of damage, but we're okay. We still have our tower up. Please, pig. Oh, that's not in double arrow range. And he's got only 20 seconds left. Use time as a resource. Earthquake log kills that. We're okay. We're okay. Whew. That was a close one. If he got this in a two-tower game, I think we would have lost for sure. Whew. Unless we got like a cheeky, you know, mighty miner that we played, um, you know, in like on the other lane and sent it in on his other tower when he didn't expect it. But I feel like we would have been in a really bad situation. So, whew. really glad we were able to defend there. Okay, 7-0, five more to go. Against Jerry here. Short, simple name. Kind of like it. Skelly's in the back. Let's see what this guy wants to do. Okay, he's going to go bats. Mm, let's leak a little bit of elixir. I don't know if I want to necessarily cycle a musk on a few bats, unless he paired it with a miner. Mm, let's go mighty miner here. This might actually... Oh, if this is lava clone, this matchup is kind of bad. Not even going to lie. Oh, yikes. This is going to be a tough matchup, I think. We'll do our best, but... Actually, I think with delivery, it might not be that bad of a matchup. Yeah, I changed my mind a little bit. I think with delivery, it's not a horrible matchup. And we do have log and EQ for this Skarmy. I wish I played my log earlier and kind of predicted that. Sadly, we didn't. But he has his Skarmy out of cycle, so Mighty Miner could be a good play here. Yeah, let's actually go Mighty Miner and Skeletons. And yeah, I don't... Let's see. I, um, Is he going to be able to defend this? That alone is going to, I think, take his tower. Yeah, nice. Nice. So that was really good by us. I don't know if we can defend this, but at least we did successfully... Um, Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to defend, but I guess as long as we can. Just did that to distract. <sighs> Let's see here. Wow. That was kind of clutch. Mighty Miner on his tower. He didn't expect that. I'm surprised he ignored the whole thing. I feel like that wasn't a very smart play. Yeah, this is looking really solid. He only has time for one more push. And we're going to pressure at the same... What is he doing? when there's 15 seconds left. 
Oh, oh man, this guy's giving a bad, you know, uh, what do you call it? This guy's making Lava Clone players look bad. I know some people already think Lava Clone players are bad, but bro, what is this guy doing? He dropped the lava when there was like a... <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Do you guys ever get those three Musketeer players? Where for whatever reason there's like 10 seconds of a match left and they go 3M in the back instead of playing it at the bridge? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> Sometimes I just think people are not paying attention to the time. Uh, so we're, we're two-thirds of the way through this now. Let's go ahead and just claim our masteries real quick here. This is my mini account, so there's several cards I haven't even unlocked the mastery on. Because I don't even use my mini accounts that often. Mostly I just use them in uh, the Royal Tournaments. That's about it. But yeah, two-thirds of the way through. Uh, let's try to close out the GC here. Alright, so we found our next one here against Philip or Philippe. I'm just going to go ahead and Hog Rider. Kick things off here with some pressure. He's going to go Bats, okay. Two hits from the hog, right? Yep. He's not going to do anything. Okay, so he just leaked elixir and took a lot of damage. Great start for us. Again? Hmm. Well, ain't that kind of surprising. Oh, uh, that's pretty much... That is pretty much gonna... Aw, oh, the bats. I was gonna say, that's pretty much gonna take his tower, but then I just realized, no, it's not. Because, yeah, bats... Do clean that up pretty nicely. Maybe mortar to tank? Because this is single elixir, he doesn't actually have a lot... Uh, like available for a massive push that was a horrible lumberjack why did he do that like i'm just being honest that was an awful play i he should have just he would have been better off just playing it on the musk at least getting some value out of it that didn't really do anything for him okay i'm pretty sure he has to defend the mighty miner like i think if he ignores that he's gonna take a lot of, he might even lose his tower yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, the Mighty Miner, man. <laughs> you cannot ignore that thing. You cannot ignore that thing. We're mortaring the pressure because we're up Elixir. I don't expect to, like... Well, actually... I'm going to pressure... I guess we already won. Wow. Maybe not. Uh, I mean, I think we pretty much did, though, because he's not even guaranteed our tower. And even if he takes it, he still has to somehow take my right tower and also defend his left tower that we're about to take. Yeah, wow, we just beat Lava Clone two times in a row. Maybe it's not a bad matchup. I thought it was, but the delivery hard just kind of low-key carries the delivery and just the mighty minor two is getting a heck of a lot of value because only good answer to it is scarby you got eq and log for that so you pretty much have pretty much all the counters you need the offense is easy just the defense i guess you can mess up if you're not careful but we beat it two times in a row so i'm starting to think Lava might not even be a horrible matchup, at least not Lava Clone. Maybe uh, Lava Loon. Lava Loon might be hard, but Lava Miner, Lava Clone, probably not that difficult. And I think that proved it. Three more to go. All right, in our next one here against this uh, Russian player. So I'm going to wait a couple seconds, and if he doesn't do it, All right, we're just going to go Hog. Wow, Lava again. Don't tell me this is Lava Clone once again. Okay, no, it's not going to be. <sighs> this is disappointing because my cycle is a little bit whack right now not even gonna lie because we don't have our muskin cycle we also didn't have our mighty miner if i had mighty miner i probably would have gone please i hope he doesn't have fireball because the minion hit the musk 
And he has Fireball. Unfortunate start. I guess it is kind of my fault, though, for letting the minion hit the musk. But he also went lava first play, and my cycle was bad. So I can't say it was all my fault. That was frustrating, though. I, I, uh, I, I can't believe that the minion had to literally the one minion hit ruin the whole defense because literally if i had the musket full health i think we would have fully defended the uh the balloon <sighs> now i don't know if we're gonna be able to because i used my mort on offense not defense so this time around he might just straight up um, take my tower, but we're putting some pressure on him right now. This is gonna, oh, he just, that might actually take his tower. Oh my gosh, Mighty Miner. Mighty Miner, man, is insane. I, j I, I don't want to give him my tower. I felt like I had to do that. Okay, we have to save ours, though do this to okay we might actually win this one somehow <laughs> let's go hog coming in uh, i got eq ready if he decides to scar me i'm gonna earthquake anyway oh nice we still hit the scar me let's go wait is he gonna make the same mistake again he can't ignore the mighty miner <laughs> he might snowball it um but wait uh Oh my gosh, he ignored the whole thing. <laughs> we just beat Lava three times in a row. Lava Loon too, but that variation was not bad for us because he had, our delivery got so much value because he had like minions and those immediately die to the delivery. I'm still shocked though that we came back after that horrible start. That was so clutch. And also all of them had, had um... Every single one of them had the Skarmy, and the EQ and Log are, like, OP against Skarmy. So if they had, like, Barbarians, it probably would have been a little harder. Okay, we're against this matchup again. In my opinion, this is not an easy matchup, but we did uh, manage to beat it earlier, so we'll try to do it again. I'm just gonna delivery this, I guess. Um, I guess I'll have to cycle a Musk. I'm gonna try to get Mighty Miner down as soon as possible because he doesn't have his Zappies in cycle. So it's obviously gonna be a great time to, uh... Okay, let's actually go for a Mortar here. It's gonna distract the Giant Skelly as well. We might not even have to go for our Mighty Miner on the Giant Skelly. We can use it on the Royal Hogs instead. Let's just let the Fisherman go and I think apply some pressure here. He'll be able to defend, but I'm guessing we're going to get some damage. Just going to pop the ability to damage the Zappies. And then... Um, Uh-oh. I don't know how I'm going to be able to defend this. Yeah, we can't. Yikes. We might, like... Uh... No, that's GG. Yeah, I was thinking it's a tough matchup. It's just we had to finally run into someone who knew how to play it. It's unfortunate. At least we're going to get some really good damage from this hog here. Maybe, just maybe, we can somehow take his tower. I guess I'll just go in for a hog again. Oh, that's so dumb. He just blocked it. Yeah, that's unlucky. Good interaction. I guess it's gonna be GG, unfortunately.
Well, it's still gonna be GG, because look at our King Tower. Good effort, I guess, but yeah. There's no way we can win in this situation. Just too much damage has been dealt to our King Tower. Yeah, GG. Mm. I tried, but yeah, we had a really rough start. I guess we maybe overcommitted a little bit too much, but I think either way it is a hard matchup, and we finally played against someone who... Um, was a bit better with the deck than I think the previous people we played because as you can see um, Oh, he's got 90. I th he didn't even get 20 wins I was gonna say he got 20 wins, but I realized he didn't but he has 110 classics So all right guys, so we were in our next match here against Joker So we'll go ahead and give him the good luck and if he doesn't make the first play in a couple seconds here I'm probably just gonna go hog at the bridge um, But because he just went bandit in the back. It's a good thing. I didn't do that We're just gonna cycle musk same lane now, and then we'll go skeletons to defend um, okay, Golden Knight. Ooh, Bandit, Golden Knight in the same deck. Very interesting. Typically, um, because they're a very similar card, you, you, you won't see them in the same deck. So he's probably using, um, I don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, I, I would assume it's like Bridge Spam or something. I'm gonna hog in the opposite lane here. Hopefully that wasn't too aggressive. Um, and we can defend the E-Barbs. I'm gonna go just Skellies on top of them just to allow the Mighty Miners some time to take out uh, the first E-Barb, so that way it's really easy to defend the second one. And then we're going to go for a Mortar here, because we have the Mighty Miner um, still live counter-pushing with it. Um, okay, that was a smart bandit on his end, because we actually don't have a good answer to that. We have to use a Musk just to take out that bandit, which is very unfortunate. Um, luckily, though, we do get one Mortar shot, and I guess we can just log the bandit back, but... Definitely a pretty rough start to this match. I'm going to go Skellius to surround the Ghost. And yeah, rough start. We definitely can come back. We know what he's using now, so there won't be uh, any more surprises, hopefully. He's got, um, well, we know he's got a bunch of, like, spam... Okay, okay, very good that he's got er the Elixir Collector. That might be our saving grace this match, because obviously um, we get a really good trade off of that. So I'm really happy to see him have Elixir Collector. Um, we're going to go Mortar here. I think it's a good time because you cycle Golden Knight in the back. He's going to be forced to drop, drop something off here. It looks like he didn't, though, which is... Huh, that's... Okay, that is very interesting that he decided not to play anything and just let the Mortar lock on. I uh, definitely think that was a mistake, in my opinion. Uh, maybe he doesn't... Wait, no, we already used Delivery, so he knows we have that. So, yeah, he definitely made a mistake letting that Mortar lock on. Um, he must have not had anything good in uh, rotation. Uh, I need to go Mortar here because we actually don't have anything for the Ghost, and believe it or not, it actually is a somewhat decent answer to the Ghost because it's gonna, it like tanks for it, if that makes sense. Uh, we're gonna pressure with a Hog, go Skellies for the E-Barbs. Luckily, that Musketeer come in in clutch and is able to um, help take out those E-Barbs there. We, we are gonna take some damage, but luckily we're in a way better situation than we were earlier. I'm gonna keep up the pressure, throw in a Mortar here. It's really hard for him to go 3M in this matchup because it's a very, um, I feel like it, it's just awkward for him to do so. Um, but he did choose to play them there. I'm just going to log this. Um, probably, ooh, we need our Mighty Miner to help out. I got to send it in the other lane. Oof, that could have been really scary if I didn't get that in the other lane in time. Oh, nice. He went for Prediction Zap. Luckily, we used our Hog Rider to defend the Bandit. So we're going to get damage. Probably not going to talk here. I want to focus. Yeah, I'm probably not going to talk much the rest of the game. I want to focus, and things are going to get very chaotic in Triple Elixir, especially. Defensive Mortar should actually be really good here, I think.
that isn't gonna be GG. Nice win there. All right, yeah. Like I said, um, no way I was gonna be able to talk there in um, Triple Elixir. Um, okay, and I just want to say this right now, um, and I'm not calling anyone out in particular, but um, this is why, um, and I'm glad a lot of you guys watching me do appreciate me having a face cam because what it means I have to do is every single game I'm playing is live. Um, whereas you know how some people who do record videos do full screen. Um, and you know how they're talking a lot in Triple Elixir? It's because they don't have to necessarily be talking while the match is happening. They can do a voiceover after it's already recorded. So that's why they're able to talk a lot in Triple Elixir. But as you can tell, um, it is practically impossible to do in Triple Elixir, especially when you're running a cycle deck. So I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there. Um, you know, like the guys doing it who are full screen, they're not some, you know, gods or, um, you know, they're like you know, they're, they're able to do something that is just no one else can do, and it's incredible. It's just because it's a, it's a voiceover, so they can talk when there's, like, nothing going on, if that makes sense, um, when the match is already finished. All right, anyway, we found a game here against Adnan. Um, I don't know if it's the real one, but if it is the real one, then this is probably going to be um, a pretty, well, tough game because he's actually a very good player, um, a really good German player, if you guys don't know who he is. Um, we'll see what he's running here. This could actually be a mirror match. I wouldn't be surprised. Because we already see that he's got the, um, the musk, the hog. So it's looking like it very well could be a mirror match. I think the, the, um, okay, let's just go for a hog here to see if it is in fact, um, yeah, it is going to be. I'm going to go for a Mighty Miner here. I don't know if he's going to send it into the other lane or not. I guess we'll see. Yeah, he does. I'm going to have to log and go for delivery. We're going to take a lot of damage from the Mighty Miner, though, unfortunately. It's not going to be anything too bad, but we do take quite a lot. So it's kind of a bad start. It probably was a bad idea going in for that Hog. I didn't realize he was going to go for a Mortar at the same time, so that was kind of unfortunate that that happened. Um... Let's see here. I think he recently got banned, so he made this account and started playing GCs on it to level it up, probably. Just go for a high musk here and see what he wants to do. Okay, he's going to go musk in the back. Um, let's see what he does here. I don't know. Okay, he just logs. I'm going to go hog in the other lane. I think we'll go for a mortar here on defense. And hopefully the mortar can shoot the musk so it dies. Yeah, it does. Nice. Okay, that was a pretty good, I think, defense from us. And we ended up getting some good damage, too, in the uh, right lane. I think we got two hog hits, if I'm uh, remembering it correctly. I'm going to go Mighty Miner in the back on our weaker tower, since it's kind of a defensive card. could actually go Musk here to snipe the mortar. And I guess we'll go for a delivery. Okay, that was interesting that he decided to... Okay, that was definitely a very interesting play by him. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, I thought for a second the Mighty Miner was tanking. It wasn't, though. Anyway, Musk. Um, we're going to go Mortar here. Hm. Let's go for an EQ. And actually, we're winning this one. So let's try to keep it up. Uh, okay, good hog by him. Somehow got a shot, actually. I don't know how it did. I certainly wasn't expecting it to. Go Earthquake here, I guess. So he decides to do that instead of going Mortar. I'm going to go, like, musk and there's no way this hog will get a shot okay my hog gets a hit nice
Let's go, GG. I don't know if that was the real Adnan, but um, either way, whoever it was was pretty good. Wait, I'm going to check if that was the real one. I don't know. I think it was him, to be honest. Because he created a new account to grind GCs on it, and I feel like it was. I, I mean, he's won 25 grand challenges. I think this is his mini account. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know for sure though, but um, if it is, I'm really, really happy to win that. Maybe I'll check API after the video, or you guys can let me know in the comments if that was the real one. Because um, if it is, um, he's better than me. I mean, he's actually a very underrated player. I don't know if like you guys like know who he is, but he's very, very good. He doesn't play a lot. He's actually finished um, second in the world on ladder after a very long break from the game. Um, so if that was who I think it was, that's a very good player. So I'm happy we're able to win in a mirror match. That was um, really, really satisfying. So let's go ahead and open up the chest here. Um, let's see what we get. No champion, unfortunately. Wait a minute. This is a level. <laughs> I realize we can't even get a champion. I'm so used to playing on my main account. I forgot for a second I can't get it on this account. So anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did end up enjoying it. Um, really, really nice. We were able to win a, a, um, a mirror match, excuse me, uh, for our final game. Um, I'm a little bit tired now, so um, I'm probably going to be going to sleep a little bit shortly after this. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did end up enjoying the video. Make sure to like it if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. And thanks again. Until next time, guys.